So here we are. Welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. Once yeah. again, another year. Another year. We're recording this a little early because, as you may have heard us mention, since the last couple of storms, which we'll talk about in a little bit, um, we have absolute had crap for connectivity and internet, phone. We've been kind of cut off from the outside world, yeah. which isn't bad because, I mean, we live off grid anyway, so it's <laughs> not that big of a deal, but... Our connection is unstable. This is what we get. <laughs> right along with us. Right along with us. Go. Right along with us. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. Absolutely. And Happy New Year to everyone, because when you see this, it'll be New Year's Eve, hopefully, fingers we crossed. We should have a really wonderful spring for the amount we had to put up with this winter. Already. Well, I mean, <laughs> I will have to admit, it was only like in November, I was outside in a t-shirt at nine o'clock at night drinking beer. Yeah. And it was like yeah. almost 70, 70 degrees. degrees. So yeah, we get, nice. but it's Maine. We get yeah. weird weather. You never know. That's what happens. Yeah. It's been cold lately, cold and yucky. And yeah, we had, uh, yeah. So we had a uh, snowfall. I want to say the it was an overnight of, into the next day and then part of the next night situation, uh, the snowstorm. And it was the same bomb cyclone, what they call it, Elliot. I think it was the Elliot Storm's sure. name was Elliot. I don't know. I and call then, it a stinking storm. We call it Bell. I, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Anyway, uh, we get to, uh, I think uh, the first plowing that I did, I plowed like at, uh, I want to say it was 9 or 10 o'clock at night. It was 9 or 9.30. And we had about five inches of snow. Yeah. And I got everything open enough so I figured we'd get in and out. And I'm thinking to myself, well, probably wake up tomorrow and have about the same amount. I woke up in the morning and we had another two feet. So the places I haven't... Yeah plowed at this point now are they're pushing almost three feet of snow <laughs> so it was it was fun and it wasn't fluffy it was heavy wet sticky mm -hmm. snow yeah it was messy. we actually had some of our neighbors that were trapped they couldn't get out of their um they couldn't get out of their private road they didn't have any way in or any way out yeah their truck broke down that they usually yeah. used to plow and they were stuck with kids but uh up in the woods Further out, weather, than us. weather is serious, you know. And then, right after it, right after it got done snowing, we had like maybe one or two decent days. Yes. Maybe one. I guess that wasn't even that we long in between. Should mention that in the meantime, a lot of people without power. Oh God! Yeah, most most people are without people. power. And they just got it back, and then, boom, I got, got hit storm. again. Yeah. But this one was a little bit of snow, a lot of rain. Yeah, we got several inches of rain now bear in mind this this is on top of at least two feet of snow the week before so one week we get two feet of snow the next week we get a, a brief period of uh, slushy icy build up snow and then it just comes off 50 degrees and downpours, downpours. Uh, yeah. with 50 to 75 mile an hour winds and i'm sure this sounds a lot like what you guys have had yeah because it came across it's pretty much country, countrywide yeah. but yeah. um yeah it knocked out uh and not out power again for people that yeah. just got it back. Uh, far worse. The second time yeah. around, it was worse. Plus, with all the melting that was going on from all the snow, with all the rain, we had crazy flooding. Yeah. So as if that wasn't enough, within like six hours, it dropped down to single digits. So now all that water that was over the road and all the places where there were cars stuck, now they're frozen in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it went down to like seven degrees. Was, That's what I want to say. It, it was bad. Forties to fifties. It wasn't so much the weather; it was the swings back and forth that yeah. caused and all the of wind. The, the wind was the wind crazy. was bad. Yeah, knocked yeah. a lot of limbs and trees down, which again brought lines down, blocked roads, uh, a lot of craziness. Yeah, we've got some good video of that, so we'll be showing. Yeah, that we got a bunch of. We'll coming. be showing some, uh, some video pictures. and some pictures of the. Yeah. Oh, we didn't get out much during the deep snow phase because why would you? I, I oh, we were too busy. Yeah, I mean, trying to shovel everything out. Get I was working during the high levels. water and the yeah. and the great uh, freeze off. Looked like that movie Day After Tomorrow. That was that was brutal. But yeah, but we made it. We're here. Yeah. 
And today it's uh, temperature in the 30, 30s. Beautiful 30. sun, making all kinds of power. Yeah, and that's one thing about it. When everybody else lost their power, we didn't. We didn't. We did not. We didn't have any power because we're not hooked to the grid at all. Right. Now, the one wire that we have that does hook to this house is a telephone wire. It's buried. Um, people that lived here before wanted phone lines, so they paid the extra money and had it all put in. So well, that's how we usually do our internet. And it stinks anyway. But yeah. it really stunk during the storm. The storm. Out. Well, we're going to talk about, we're going to go backwards a little bit first. And we're going to talk about what the past year has been I'm like good at for us. Going backwards? Going regressing. regressing. I'm regressing. always regressing. regressing. <laughs> it's always one step forward, two steps back. Is that how that goes? Or is it two, one? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> so we're going to go back and just kind of talk about a little bit. And maybe no matter where you go, there you are. There you are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's see, I've got notes because we're old, we can't remember anything. <laughs> I'm blind, I can't read anything. <laughs> Daph can't hear anything. He's, I said, I got notes, can you read? No, I can't what? read them. He said, <laughs> he can't read them. I can so, read those. But I have, uh, what we, okay, so we're going to go back. We're going to go back to the beginning of the year. We had our stove was messed up and needed some work. <laughs> <laughs> our wood stove, our soapstone, woodstock, soapstone. Wood stove, we love it. It's awesome. It's a great stove. It's an it is a, uh, it's got a catalytic converter, uh, catalyst element in it. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's actually, it's a Vermont Castings, uh, no, excuse me, it is a wood star. Our old one was a Vermont Castings. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, wood stove, uh, soap stove. It is a um, wood stock, fire view, soapstone stove. And... It has a secondary burn chamber on the top. So smoke goes up through and all that rich smoke gets reburned again. And because of that, the chimney stays really clean. A lot of the heat stays in the house. Mm -hmm. It's just a really good setup. It's been the best stove I've ever had. And I've, I've, I've had a few. I've had a few. Um, and good stoves. Love it. But I was worried about it when we tore it apart because I found a lot of other stuff that was bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, as it turns out, these airtight... Stoves are so tight, you know, and they're focusing on reburning the smoke and getting the most out of it and making it as clean as possible. They work great, but if you've got any bit of a bad gasket in there, it's like using a cutting torch. If you, if any of you ever used a torch before, you know, you light the fire with the acetylene that gives you the big fire. Then you put enough oxygen in there so it burns good, and then when you're ready to cut with it. You squeeze the handle, that gives it more oxygen. Well, that's what that air leak was doing inside that stove. Yeah. So that flame was blowing through there, and because it was blowing through there in a small spot, it was just like shooting a cutting torch flame, and it, it melted a bunch of the cast iron. Yeah, the cast iron. It melted. So um, we had to change a bunch of the internal scoops and parts, and yeah. I was initially very worried because the pieces we were taking out were cast iron, and... They weighed like five pounds. And the stuff we were putting back in was stainless steel. And it was like tin. Yeah, very light. And I was like, uh-oh, here we go. Well, we've been using it now for how many months? Since you completely fixed it, three, two? Yeah, two, two or months. three months straight. What is this, December? We're at the end of December, so a and month straight. Why don't you tell them what you think of it and then I'll give them my opinion. About how it works now. You yeah. Mean, I think it works so much better. I now. think it works better than it ever did. Yes. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> I, I really do. And, cool okay, so, and then another cool thing that happened this year is we got Bun Bun, our rabbit. We, we uh, acquired him through a family member that didn't want to keep him anymore. And it was just getting loose in the house and chewing wires and whatnot. And we brought her here. I don't know if I said him, but I meant her. She's a girl. And we brought her here and I had her caged up and I built a little area for her and she was all caged. I wanted a rabbit because I wanted the rabbit poop for the garden. And uh, it happened that she got loose one day. I was letting her run around while I cleaned the coop because she was in the coop with the chickens but blocked off. And I let her run around and she went outside, came back in, went back in her cage at night and she was kind of like a little dog like she'd go out and 
Now she's out running loose, running wild. But totally she free range rabbit. Free range rabbit. She hangs out with the chickens during the day and at night, I don't know what she, she runs around. I see her outside at night in the middle of the night running around. I don't know, she's a crazy rabbit. But she leaves me piles of poop here and there. And my granddaughter and I go out and we scoop it up. She's fun to watch. She's, <laughs> she's very fun to watch. Yeah, uh, we had to replace or repair, not replace, the greenhouse this year. If you remember last year, we got a greenhouse, put it together. <sighs> not very, not very good. So uh, the panels were blowing out every time the wind blew and it was just not working out. So early, early, we took tape and took, uh, what's the clear stuff in the, the caulking gun? Caulk and silicone, yeah. We did that and sealed it all up. Put a few screws in here and there, put a few boards in here and there. And it worked great. It worked great. We're going to get some of our money back out of it for a few years till we build a real one. That's what's going to happen. Got us but. through the spring and um, got us through uh, curing onions, curing garlic. Uh, all is just wonderful. It, it worked great. It had a little hatch on it, and it stayed. Vent, yeah. Yeah, a little vent, and um, it worked great. So. Eventually, I'm just going to build one out of um, two by fours, but I'm kind of going to use the same footprint. Footprint, Maybe? yeah. I think I'm just going to go taller. Yeah, I'd like um, it to be tall. It is kind of a pain because you get a duct tape yeah. down in and stuff, and the doorway is very wide. So, but uh, it'll be nice but, because if it's made out of wood, it'll. It'll give you a place to uh, hook things up. You could have some, you know, shelves that can come down and hang on chains, mm -hmm. you know, and then you're not using them. If you want to store stuff in there for the winter, you can stand them up. You know, that will be nice. But it worked great. It worked yeah. great for this year. It was, it was very Better happy. than I thought. Yeah, very happy with that. The plants were happy. Yeah, and we worked a lot on the garden this year. We extended it to add uh, a lot of our, our other plants and bagged bags that we grow in uh, and we still have the raised beds we have the in-ground bed we got potatoes in the winter time and some of them sprouted before we could use them so I planted those and we got a poop ton of uh, tomatoes we got those too we had a pretty good uh, we had a pretty good garden year all in all I yeah. think yeah. and um it's really good hopefully I have a better one next year um yeah we've or been, even if it was the same we've been trying to really produce a lot more of our own soil between composting and uh, I've been digging around in the woods and finding places where there's some some uh, rich soil and I'll bring it up. Some of it's full of leaves and crap, you know, but we just put it right it's in right with yep. it, you know, with everything else. If it, some of it's had some junk in it, like broken glass and pieces of metal. But what we've done is we basically dumped it in a pile and we let the chickens pick through it and all the stuff kind of shows up. So you can pick the pieces out Kind of Flip it over and let them go at it again for a day or two and go out and pick the yeah. stuff out of it. They do a pretty good job of cleaning it. Yeah, they do. But it's making for some serious rocket fuel kind of dirt. Yeah, we're going to have some good dirt for, for our beds next year. It's gonna and we also good. opened up the area where the compost is. I made a, mm -hmm. a place where we could drive the tractor right down into it. I had to cut a few trees and move some rocks and get rid of those. Yeah, did a lot of work. But, uh, it's much easier now because... Yeah. When you want to flip it over, you don't have to go out and flip it over with a spade or with a dung fork. You can go right out with a tractor and pick it up, dump it, go behind it, back drag it, pick it up, dump it, roll it right over, you know, and then it'll start its magic well, all I, over again. When I first started the compost, I could go out with a dung fork and flip right. it because there wasn't a lot. It was just... This is small. Yeah, and yeah. it was just a small thing and there were a few chickens and, you know, you get the chicken math going on, so uh, we're up to 20-something chickens and get the rabbit and uh you know leaves and you, once you get everything in there it's a lot and the tractor does help a lot with that yeah, we need that dirt though it's, it just, it's great if you look at some of our earlier videos and some of our pictures you'll see that this looks like a house it's a great big white house in the middle of the woods on top of a pile of sand yeah. that's what everything looks it's like here. it looks like a, a sand yeah. pit almost mm -hmm. um if you're not standing in the sand you're standing on a giant rock mm -hmm. so we need good soil so we yeah. Instead we of buying it, we've been yeah. making our own. We were yeah. we were buying it for the first couple of years. We did buy it, and we may buy some more and put in with it, us and start yeah, it up some more. Right? Yeah, you know. But uh, it's working out very well. Oh yeah, absolutely. For sure. Yep. Yeah. So the potatoes sprouted that I planted. We got a ton of potatoes. 
We got a ton of tomatoes, so we've used those in canning. Uh, my granddaughter, or our granddaughter, who's four, helped me plant onions this year. Uh, she helped me do carrots. She helped you eat all the tops off the onions, too. She loves the tops off the onions, and she loves the carrots. She was, every time she'd come over, Grammy, can we go in the garden and get carrots? I just love it. I'm so glad. Well, and the little she tomatoes. She wants to go in the garden. Yeah, we have to do one plant, at least, to cherry tomatoes, because... She just wants to go and, I mean, her mouth, her cheeks are just... <laughs> um, but she loved the carrots. She'd go and I'd go, I think you can pick that one. You could see it kind of coming out of the ground and she'd pull it out and rinse it off and just start mowing on it. I'm like, we really should go in and wash that. But she would just start mowing on it and then she'd feed the top to the bunny. Um, and uh, we had a great time with that this year. And she's learning a lot gardening she's having a blast in there so i love having a she blast. loves she loves doing stuff outside yeah yeah so there's helping. hope for the next generation she loves helping so thank goodness <laughs> right now we're gonna just just keep it keep it going as long as we can yeah so let's see what else have we got on our list here what else have we done this year um compost we already talked about that oh you did a bunch of chainsaw videos this year chainsaw knife videos were those all this year well, you did a few this year. Yeah, you did at least three. I get a lot of questions about the two small saws that I have. I get yeah. I get a lot of questions about the little 180, mm -hmm. and I get a lot of a lot more questions and a lot more views about the uh, MS 261. Mm -hmm. The steel. Um, they're both. They're all steels. Yeah, I I tend to I tend to gravitate towards. Uh, Pro saws from whoever I can get the best service from. I used to use Husqvarna all the time and then Jones mm -hmm. Red. And, yeah. um, I've switched over to steel and I've been happy so far. They've, they've been pretty good. Yeah. As long as you get the better saws from any of those manufacturers, they're going to be fine. Yep. Yeah. So we've so been like on it. a couple road trips this year. We, we oh, actually geez, yeah. got off the homestead for a little while. Uh, we do that every once in a while to get out and about and see what the rest of the world is doing. Then we rush back home. Went up through the notches. <laughs> went up through the notches in New Hampshire. We went through the notches, yep. The Kangamangas Highway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and we went up to Moose Caves and we took everybody for a yeah. little walk around there. That was pretty cool. Wow. Um, and so we're hoping next year we'll we'll be doing some more stuff like that too. We slowly, always, slowly you know, feeling better. Slowly yeah. still losing weight and doing my physical therapy exercises. My back is getting better. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing happens, of course, as, as fast as we'd like it to, but occasionally I'll notice, hey, I did all this stuff yesterday and I'm not in terrible pain and mm -hmm. maybe I'm actually gaining. <laughs> right. So it's a little harder to have a positive outlook when you're in pain all the time. But, mm -hmm. but So that's I got that turned around. Doing better with that. Doing better with that, yeah. So we'll be traveling a little more. We ended up, we had the tractor three years. So we did a three-year view on the tractor. Yep. And we also, on the tractor, did the first big servicing and going through That's the, the big 200-hour service. <clears throat> yeah, we went through the whole thing. So yep. we did that this year. That was a big deal. So we'll have the tractor four years next year. Yep. Four years come spring. That's crazy. Yeah. It's got... Uh, because it'll have, oh, come springtime, it'll probably have 250 hours on it, maybe. Yeah, it something on like the, that. How much snow and how many storms. Yeah, yeah, it's still early, so we really don't know. Yeah, yeah, we're getting into the, you know, the grind of it, so. Well, yep. So we've been we hopefully that. through the worst of the season. Yeah. Heavy, wet, three feet of snow. Yeah, that should be hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully, we're past that. Yeah, I don't hopefully. mind snow as long as it's fluffy. Yeah, it's the wet stuff. Is it's always the beginning and the end that because the, the weather fluctuates so much. But let's talk about the caterpillars we had this year. Oh, the pestilence! Good night. That was awesome. So we had the plague early on, and then yeah. then we got the pestilence. We got the pestilence. We had a caterpillar infestation, and they yeah. ate all the leaves off from all the hardwoods. Um, any of the trees opened. it was all green and oh beautiful. it looked like yeah it, it was, was really beautiful. strange and then all of a sudden gone you could hear them out there you could hear them eating they the langoliers 
There was millions of it's them. It's like the Stephen there. King short story, The Langoliers. You could hear them devour in the world. Yeah, and I'd walk around with the chickens, and all, I could see leaves that were half eaten and holes in them. Yeah. Then you look up in the tree, and you're like, what is happening? The trees were naked. Covered in caterpillars, and they were getting all over the house and all over the, yeah. the deck. And the roads. And to enjoy it. The roads were stained terrible. brown from people running over so many caterpillars. Mm -hmm. and I, I'm not kidding. It was... Yeah. It was really, really bizarre. And we were really worried that, is it going to come back? Like, are the trees going to recover from this? And from what people have told us, that they well, do yeah, it, and it I, recover. Well, I didn't think that once they defoliated those trees, I did not think they would come back until next year. Yeah, right, and they did start. And they back. said, oh, no, they'll come back. They'll rebud. And I was like, that's not how plants work. But guess what? They did. They did. They rebutted and they grew new leaves. Yeah. I won't. I don't think they were as hardy as they would have been if they grew the original leaves. No, they didn't get um, all the way out. I mean, it was but, because then we had fall and everything changed. And I wonder. We got a lot of storm damage um, with this storms that we had. These these two storms, and I'm wondering if maybe some of the caterpillar damage didn't weaken some of those hardwoods. Because what, a lot of them had broken tops, and I mean, that's... Yeah. I mean, it was... It was really... This is it was creepy looking. Neither one of us have ever seen, ever seen before. I mean, you see caterpillars in the little, the well, little sacks I have a, and... How old is Dennis? 73? Yeah. Dennis said he'd never seen anything like it. Yeah, that's his buddy. Yeah. It's crazy. And, and any place that was a down, like a dead tree laying on the ground, they'd clean every last bit of bark off, and it would look white as a sheet, look like a bone. It was really strange. Yeah. And there were areas that didn't come back as good. Yeah, they were really heavy, heavy. And those areas actually got more storm damage than we did. That's why I wondered if maybe it had something to do with that. Probably did. It but probably I don't did. know. That was strange. That was. Let's hope they don't come back, but I don't know. They, they, uh, may, they may come back, and hopefully they won't be as bad. Supposedly, they can take, trees can take this for three Three years, three years, I think, and then after that, they start to suffer, allegedly. I, I'm not, don't quote me, but... Well, time yeah, will tell. We can't do anything crazy. about that. Yeah, yeah. So, so then you didn't go because you had something else going on, but I had a meetup with oh, my yeah. tiny retirement. I took my friend Patty, and we went over to uh, their area and went on, like, this Christmas stroll through their little tiny little town, Wayne, Maine. And uh, it was beautiful, and we had fun. We had so much fun. We laughed so much. I was that again, honey? Wayne Maine. Wayne Maine. <laughs> Inside joke. It's Wayne. Wayne Maine. Yeah, it was crazy. So that was a lot of fun meeting other YouTubers. We had such a good time. This spring, this is, we're going to talk about next year. We're going to get together with them next year and do something fun. Um, so Scott can go and... And uh, meet them. They don't let me out much. <laughs> Short leash. We lock him up during the Well, day. you know. You, you've seen me. <laughs> it's by his own choice. <laughs> so, yeah. We talked about the storms that went through and uh, that we just had. And we talked about the laptop that's getting fixed. We've kind of... What surprised you about those storms? What surprised me? I guess how quick it comes down in between... Just a few hours, how fast it can pile up. Um, but I think the tractor, the tractor struggled a bit with with the, the snow because it 